cover. I don't think you actually have to remove the whole cover. You gotta remove mounting bolts here. Goes into the casing there. And then lower one here goes into the casing there. And then it's just an O-ring holding the pump together and you can pull it out. If you have a leak coming out from the bottom here, there's a weep hole. Usually if the water pump is bad, there's a mechanical seal there. The only gasket is between the cover and the pump itself. Anything that's coming from inside the pump on the back side has got to be a mechanical problem of the seal itself where it's pressed and you have to replace it. And I replaced a water pump on a 97 one time. It was pretty straightforward to do, no big deal there. This is the other drain port right here. So you have your three drains, or two on the front of the water jacket and then the one at the water pump if you're draining your coolant system. Five millimeter cap head screw. Okay, and you just grab on and wiggle. Wiggle its way out. Water pump. This is what splines up and drives the pump itself. This is the O-ring. It's in good shape. Reuse. Bad. Replace. A little coolant left in there still, as always. And that's all there is for removing a water pump.